Hello everyone and welcome back to the HH Gaming YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about the top 5 MOBAs that you can play on your PC right now. So at number 5 we have Smite. Now this game was released in 2014 and you become a god or a goddess and you roam around the map fighting against other enemies. So the main reason that people play this game is the conquest mode and that mode allows you to start with resources which you're going to build up into weapons and armor and you're going to have to go slay the phoenix or the titan on the enemy team but be careful though because whilst you're going out to kill theirs there's their team is coming to kill yours so you have to play it very strategically in order to win the battle you can have either three players going up front to try and slay the enemy uh, phoenix and titan whilst two of yours are defending or you can play all defense and just kill the oncoming attacks it's really up to you how you want to play it, but it's a team game. So make sure when you're playing with your team, you're either on voice comms. So you can chat to your team to tell them where the enemy flanks are coming and if you need help or not. That will really benefit. And something I didn't know about the game was it's got a million dollar prize pool for uh, esports. And for a game that's not as incredibly as big as the other games on the list, I think that's pretty amazing to have a million dollar prize pool. Next up on our list, we have Vainglory. Now... Eight years ago, I was playing this game on my iPad, and I loved it. I hit Vainglorious, the top rank, gold Vainglorious. Um, but now it's in alpha for Windows and Mac. And I, I really want to get back into it, to be honest, because it's quite an amazing game. I really loved it. I put many hours into that game. So it was me, HH, and one of our mates who used to play that game a lot. I must have put about uh, a 1,000 hours into that game. It was really good. I re really recommend it. So when I used to play it, it used to be a 3v3, you had uh, two in the lane, one in the jungle, um, but nowadays it's a full 5v5 game. Um, but yeah, I remember playing Koshka and just running around as a little uh, cat with really sharp claws and used to terrorise the game. It was a really good game. Now, this is a game that's got cross-platform play, so unlike other games such as League of Legends and Wild Rift, um, you're going to be able to play cross-platform on your iPad or on your PC. So you're going to be playing against these type of players. So it's going to be very difficult, I guess, for the iPad players in a way. Because there's so many controls on the keyboard and the mouse. It's just so much more precise. So at number three, we've got Heroes of the Storm. Now this game was created by Blizzard, and which is a very respectable company. Um, not really for, known for their MOBAs though. Um, but... It's a very good game, Heroes of Storm, due to their 15 different maps, which is quite amazing, considering other games really only have one, maybe two max. This game's got 15 maps. That's a lot of learning. Um, I get it's a lot of learning, but I guess once you're playing the game, you get experience playing the game over and over. You're going to learn all the maps very well and know like the little spots where you can like get over the walls quickly and like surprise your enemies. This game also has an, a million dollar prize pool in esports. Um... It's a fairly popular game. It's quite known for its like competitiveness. And something which I find really cool about the game is you can ride a mount. So instead of just running to lane or running to the jungle, you can hop on your mount and just travel there quicker. Um, it also get you quicker into battle and quicker to slay your enemies, really. But overall, I think it's a really solid game. It's definitely top three MOBAs. It could even take the top two spots, but in my opinion, this is number three. Now into our top two spots. Um, we've got Dota 2 in, at second place, um, just because I've played and I've got more experience in the, uh, the first game, but this game's not not going to be faulted at all. It's a very strong game. It's got massive eSports uh, e backing. It's got a big prize pool of like $2 million for the winner. Uh, it's a very popular game. Uh, the reason I see it above the other three games in the list is just because it's so much more popular. It's got a much bigger backing of eSports, and it's just a phenomenal game, really. Dota 2 games tend to be longer, um, they've got longer matches ranging from like 45 to a couple of hours I've seen, um, it's quite common that it would be a long battle, but overall it's a very like strong game, if you've got lots of time and you want to become good at this game, I recommend putting lots of hours in because you're going to need it really, but overall it's a very strong game. And finally we've got League of Legends, and this takes my top spot just because I've played 1000, 2000 hours into this game. Uh, I'm not the best at the game, but I very much enjoy it, and that's what the factor keeps bringing back. It's so addictive. Like I play it most days. I log in, play a few matches. They're only about 20 to like 40 minute matches, so I can get a few in like in an hour. And it's an incredible game. It's over 100 characters, 160 characters now, which all have their unique abilities and incredible 
Of course, I have my favourites. I'm a tanky character. I like the Mundo, the Yorix. They're my type of characters. Um, but once you get into the game, it's a massive 5v5. Unfortunately, unlike Heroes of Storm, there's only one map. No one game's ever the same. You might have a certain play style, but you've got to depend on your team. And if your team, your enemy team gets a bit stronger, say in the mid lane, you've got to like compensate for it and get yourself above your top laner just to make sure you're like even in the game. Now it is very um, esports driven. The esports prize pool is now 2.4 million, I believe the latest one was. Um, but it's a very well watched and respected game. So I really recommend this game if you're looking for the next MOBA that you want to try out. League of Legends is the one uh, you can join. It's free to join. Um, and yeah, this is just an incredible game, which, again, I've spent many hours in and I really enjoy. And I probably will keep playing this game for a long time. Now, if you want to go and check out some of these MOBAs, especially League of Legends, they're on Twitch, a lot of people streaming them, um, just so you get a feel for the game. Normally, it's like a very positive atmosphere, and yeah, it's a very good game overall. So there we have it, guys. That's my top five MOBAs. Um, I really enjoy these games, and I really hope you do too. And thanks for watching.